so now we are going to see random forest okay last week we have seen a tree that tree we are used for making decision okay that tree make we used it for to make a decision and I have a question from Manup. Can the code developed in R work in R to pass one? All the code will not work. Functions created with R will work. Okay. Okay. So we have seen a tree, one tree, to make a decision. A random forest, forest, it's a collection of trees. So tree two third tree, fourth tree, okay, all the trees, so the collections of trees is going to come, give you a forest, but while picking up uh, the variables for analysis, it picks up randomly, so which is one of the factor, it is called as a random forest, instead of one person giving an output for me to decide, I get the output from multiple person and based on that multiple person which are gives the majority of outcome that I take as an output for prediction okay so assume that this person is telling yes for a decision tree I go by with this person whether he tells yes or no fine but this is not my appropriate way to do it because I believe on only one person quantity so now by engaging with random forest, multiple person will tell the output. So if this tells yes, and uh, this tells yes, and this tells no, out of four, three tells yes and one tells no. So three yes and one no. So the output is yes. It is purely be decided by the number of persons which is giving an output which has a majority of outcome. So number of persons is equal to number of trees. Collectively all this is called a forest and whenever it decides anything, it will be picking up the variable randomly, how that we see that. So that is the reason the random forest works based on the majority of a person gives the outcome that will be used as a target variable outcome. Okay. So likewise, if you see, so this model is called an ensemble model. So one tree, two tree, uh, three tree, four tree, likewise lot of trees are available, okay. So this model is called the ensemble model, combining all the results, okay, from different models and out of which taking the majority of result set as a target variable. Believing one person will not be a good, a good kind of a decision making, so rather than combining results from multiple individual models and then finally majority of outcome that we take as a final predicted target variable result set. Clear? So, how that goes, okay? So this goes based upon the number of variables. So we take this. Okay. So what happens? So we'll come to that slide. What happens, I have a data, 70 and 30, 70 for training and 70 for testing. What we do, first we take the data, train it, and what result or model we get, we will evaluate the model by applying a 30% of data, that is usual. But in random for us, it is having out of box error estimate, out, out, of, out of box error estimate, what that it means. So internally it takes care of the error and finds out the accuracy of the model till it reaches the better accuracy. How? In the 70% of a data, automatically, so this is all automatic, you don't need to worry. 
if you say 70 percentage out of which two third and one third it will be splitting. Two third will be used for training internally and one third is used for evaluating the model internally. Okay, till it reaches a better accuracy. For example, if I have a thousand records on that the two third it will be splitting into six six seven and one third it will be splitting to triple three. One third it will be splitting into triple three. So now out of which the accuracy will be internally taken care by the random forest. So this method is called the out of box error estimate. So how the good accuracy is arrived. For example, if you say I need 500 tree, okay, and number of variables you can randomly pick will be 4. What it means? In the random forest, if you have a 10 variables, 10 independent variables and one dependent variable, random forest will select 4 columns out of 10 for each tree randomly. Each tree randomly. And then it calculates the accuracy of the model. It will not use all the independent variable for a tree. For a tree, out of higher tree, for a tree, it will use any four independent variables randomly. Okay? And each tree will provide you a result set. So for example, out of higher tree, if Diabetes, yes, it says 350. Tree says 350, tree says diabetes, yes. And 150 tree says diabetes, no. Since the majority of outcome is goes to yes, the output will be diabetes, yes. Because the majority of tree says diabetes, yes. Okay. So once again, I'm saying 70-30, it will by default, we have that mechanism of 70-30 sampling. Out of 70-30, internally the data will be divided into two sets. So one is going to be the two-third and another is going to be the one-third. The two-third is going to be used for training internally and one-third is going to be used internally for testing the accuracy of the model. So that is called out-of-box error estimate. So this random forest, we are going to do the forest. So for that, we have to tell how many tree we require to make a forest and how many number of variables you have to pick randomly from the number of list of independent variables you have it. This is also not any fixed numbers, it is also random which it will be iterative approach only. Then finally, for example, out of 10 independent variables, since you said pick up 4 randomly, 4 will be picked up randomly, 4 will be picked up randomly, and then all the models will be calculated and the number of tree outcome will be shown. Since we requested for 500 tree, the 353 tree says yes and 150 says no, the majority will be given to the majority of outcome, so that is diabetes yes. So that's how internally the random forest works. So now we'll see how internally the random forest will be working. So we'll execute an example and see and I will show you and I will give you a tips as well how do we automate the model for the production. All the decision tree algorithms are not fixed algorithms. You have to iterate the modeling. Okay. So this is uh, the number of uh, trees and number of constant variables you have to use it. That's what I called as n and m. So n which means number of samples for growing the tree and m is for randomly picking up uh, the variables from the list of independent variables available, okay? And finally, you will be collecting all those things to arrive a kind of a result set by choosing out which is the majority of outcome, which is provided by the majority of trees. So that we take as the outcome. So this what, whenever you use a random forest, two third will be used for the training and one third will be used for internally out of box error estimate. And finally, outcome will be classified based on the number of votes from all the above trees. Okay. So these are uh, some of the features of random forest. Accuracy will be uh, better when compared to 
other uh, modeling because it is not evaluated by one person, it will be evaluated by multiple persons. When I say persons, it's equal to number of trees, okay? And it can handle n number of variables. That is not an issue. It does not have any restriction with the number of variables it can handle. But what happens? More the number of variables, uh, the random accuracy also will increase, but the performance will degrade. It depends upon how much variable you use for random. So that's where uh, the performance will vary because it has to iterate, keep on iterating till the number of trees it generates and ensures that all the variables uh, in the data set it utilizes. Okay. Fine. And as well since we have uh, the out of box error estimate which is built on top of uh, the existing random forest itself. We don't need to explicitly worry about the accuracy of the model by taking out the data and testing the data and then finding out the accuracy and reiterating the model. So that kind of a problem will not be there when you use random forest. Okay. So because it picks up the randomly variables and then it finds out uh, the tree outcome by as usual method of information gain theorem. But while picking up the random variable, it picks up randomly out of the number of independent variables which is present. Okay.